everyone, PFL Park Hopper here at Disney's Hollywood Studios for the flurry of fun. It is time for the holiday season here in Orlando. But before we go into the park, I'm going to show you a bit of the parking lot and how I got in here because there's a brand new entrance to drive into. So I want you to be aware of that if you're coming here this holiday season. Okay, so brand new for this holiday season, Hollywood Studios has a new entrance. And I'm entering the Walt Disney World gate through the Osceola Parkway entrance. And you see how it says Hollywood Studios exit only? This is now the only way to enter the Hollywood Studios. Before you used to be able to come in off of Osceola Parkway, or you could come in off of uh, Lake Buena Vista. Lake Buena Vista is now buses only. And this is a new exit to Hollywood Studios off of Osceola Parkway. The old one is now cast members only. They totally revamped the parking lot. So you're gonna come up this hill and you're gonna go all the way over here to the right. Before you used to just go straight over this hill, um, that's how you would still get to Magic Kingdom and Epcot and Animal Kingdom if you're coming from this direction. But you gotta go over the hill to the right to go to Hollywood Studios. And so keep that in mind if you're coming to Hollywood Studios this holiday season, because this is brand new. So not many people know about this yet. And if you were coming from the other way on Osceola Parkway, you'd be coming on this bridge over here. So there is a ramp from the opposite way if you were coming from the west side. And here's Art of Animation Resort. You can see that from up here. That's all a new view. Pretty neat. All right, so we're coming down the hill and we're heading into the studios. It's kind of a long driveway. This is all new area. These cars come in, must be coming out, exiting. So that's kind of neat. This is my first time doing this. This is technically the second day that this parking has been open. So here's the new gate coming up. And it's really cool because it looks like the uh, front entrance. So here we are, Disney's Hollywood Studios. And here's the parking lot over here. So you're coming in from a completely different angle. Another thing I want to mention is you can see the gondola pylons. Here's one right here for the Disney Skyliner that's coming in 2019. So um, if you saw my Beach Club resort recently, there's some more of them over there. Remember this uh, gondola Skyliner system is coming from the Beach Club as well as Art of Animation and Pop Century. So this is all of the gondolas coming all the way in to the Hollywood Studios. So Hollywood Studios and Epcot are going to be the two resort um, theme parks that have the gondola system. All right, so this is kind of a much more efficient entrance because now we're just coming straight into the parking where you have to drive all around the parking lot. This is great. I like this a lot better. You can see Star Wars land off in the distance. Those little spires over there, Star Wars land. It's coming along really well. You can see a lot of it from inside Toy Story land. Um, I don't like to film it, but um, if you are standing in Toy Story Land, you can see a lot of detail. It's going to be great when that opens. And we're looking at late 2019. So next Christmas season for that. All right. Another thing I want to make mention in the parking lot is the buses are now parking clear over here. And this is where the gondola station is going to be. This is where you can park, which is we're in film. This is the film side. This side is music. And... The tram only goes down to the end of the street right here. It does not go all the way to the front entrance anymore down there. You do have to walk a ways because all of that is under construction. So keep that in mind while coming here this holiday season. Okay. It's not going to be um, a, a very efficient tram ride to the front of the park. So everything's still really heavily under construction here. And uh, it's probably going to be that way until Star Wars opens and everything. So probably for the next year. So just plan ahead and know you're going to have to do some extra walking from the parking lot here. The trams do not drop you right at the front. So I just find it's easier just to walk the whole way. Okay, we are now inside the park. Check it out. I think Hollywood Studios has so much to offer now for the holidays. It used to be awesome, you know, when they had the Osborne lights. And yes, I miss them. If you never got to experience the Osborne lights, it was um, in the Disney Hollywood Studios back lot, which is now going to be where Star Wars is. So the, all of that is gone, but they used to have like um, five million twinkle lights. Well, that's all gone now, and it was disappointing, you know, that they left. But I have been reading so much about this year's event. I'm super excited. 
Looks like there's going to be different parts of the park decorated differently. There's going to be treats to eat. There's going to be plenty of entertainment. So let's check it all out. Okay, so when you're coming down the street towards Grauman's Chinese Theater, if you go to your left, you're going to hit the Christmas tree here in the middle. And it's around the Echo Lake. So over here is the Hollywood and Vine restaurant. And the tree is right in front of that. So we're going to check that out. Check out the little poodle statue. That's cute. I have a poodle at home, so big fan of poodles. <laughs> okay, there's the tree. Let's get closer. I love these decorations too. They remind me of like 1950s Christmas. So they're really cute. They have Santa Claus is on them and little reindeer. There's the tree. Let's go around the other side. Check out all the ornaments in the lake too. That's really neat. It's beautiful. Over here they have the little deer display. Totally cute. Dinosaur Gertie. She's all decked out for the holidays. She's an ice cream stand, just in case you're wondering. She's not open right now, but she probably is in the daytime. There's the tree up close. So I love that they have put the tree inside the lake. This tree used to be in front of the park where I was originally standing for the introduction of the video, but I love that they've brought it inside the theme park. You know, it's it's closer to everything. You can get so many good angles on it from around the lake, so that's really cool. All right, here's one last uninterrupted look at the tree. Up close, very cool. Okay, let's move on. One of the most unique things they have here at the Hollywood Studios for the holidays is they have interesting desserts at every single one of the quick service restaurants. So I'm here at the Backlot Express, which is right by the Star Tours ride, and they have this chocolate chestnut pine cone, which I'm very interested to try. So let's give it a taste. So they were sold out of the pine cone. No oh, fair, I want one. So I'll have to come back and try that another day, but they do have more treats to try. So let's try to get something else. Okay, I'm now back at the Oasis Canteen, which is the little funnel cake stand across from the tree. There's the tree, here's the stand. They have Santa macaroons. So I think these would be really good to taste, but they're $7.99. So I'm gonna shop around a little more, but I may come back for those. Okay, this is the Dockside Diner. This is the little boat that was across from the Dinosaur Gertie, and they have a gingerbread cupcake and a caramel eclair. They also have a hot cocoa flight. That sounds interesting. It's three different kinds of alcoholic hot cocoa. <laughs> so that sounds interesting. So a lot of these places have something unique for the holiday season. So stop in and check them out. If you're really ambitious, you could try all of them. I might try a few different ones throughout the season. Um, but I don't think I could get all of them in one night. That's a lot of sweets. Check out the theater all lit up for the holidays. Every night they do a special holiday fireworks called Jingle Bell, Jingle Bam. It's um, off of Disney's Prep and Landing show. If you've ever seen that, it airs on ABC every holiday season for like the last, I don't know, eight to 10 years, I would think. So if you've heard of Prep and Landing, that's what Jingle Bell, Jingle Bam is all about. So we will have that show on the video later on. So stay tuned. One thing I am definitely getting this holiday season, an alien popcorn bucket. I love the little aliens. It's $25. They also have Pluto. He's also available at Magic Kingdom. He's $15.50. They also this year have holiday festive popcorn. And that's here. This is like a caramel corn with some candy in it. And uh, that looks pretty yummy. So they have a festive corn or you can get the regular popcorn for your bucket. Also, they nightly have a dessert party here, a Jingle Bell, Jingle Bam dessert party, right here in front of the Grauman's Chinese Theater. So if you're interested in that, you can um, purchase this with your, uh, it's like a dinner package or a dessert package, I should say, but they have all kinds of desserts. They're setting them out now, getting set up. 
but it's a specially um, ticketed event. Check out the giant Yule log, isn't that cute? <laughs> I wonder how long it took them to make that. Okay. All right, we're gonna head back down um, Sunset Boulevard and check out the Flurry of Fun, which is a projection show on the Tower of Terror. Check out this beautiful bed of lights. Isn't that gorgeous? Very creative. I've never seen that kind of decorating before. It's pretty nice. And these decorations are new. Three peppermint ladies, I guess. Okay, so here we are on Sunset Boulevard and they do four different projection shows on the Tower of Terror. So we're gonna try to catch each one. They rotate very frequently. But before we do that, let's look inside this store right here because I believe this is where you can meet and greet Santa Claus. Okay, I was wrong. Santa's up here in Once Upon a Toy. So I'm gonna head in through this entrance. Look at all the holiday merchandise. Oh, sorry. Sorry. And here he is. It's a pretty neat photo up with Santa. It's really pretty in here, too. So it's a really good picture. So check that out inside Hollywood Studios. It's in the Once Upon a Time store. All right, let's go out and check out the Flurry of Fun. Yes. snow here. This is a pretty tree display over here too by the Beauty and the Beast Theater. A lot of great decorations this year, more than last year even. All right, let's wait for the next one. that Olaf's Frozen Adventure from last season. Great show, but I'm an Olaf fan, so I'm biased. Okay, so who would have thought I'd have such a hard time getting a dessert? Over where I was at the Sunset Ranch, they did have 
an eggnog panna cotta that I thought sounded interesting. It was like a, a maybe an eggnog mousse with raspberry and chocolate, but the line was super long. Everyone was getting something to eat. And when I looked uh, at my phone at the time, I realized it's time for my fast pass in Toy Story Land. And there's still more Christmas stuff to see over there. So we got to keep moving and uh, get on over here. So I had to skip it. Man, I'm having a hard time getting a dessert tonight. It's disappointing. Normally I like to get something. But maybe after Toy Story Land. Let's get this done because I, I don't want to run out of time and then miss Jingle Bell Jingle Bam. The park is only open till 8 o'clock tonight and um, the Jingle Bell Jingle Bam is at 8.30. So we should have time hopefully to maybe stop for something sweet. I hope. So well, let's head to Toy Story Land. Decorations everywhere, and I hear that Toy Story Land is also decorated for the holidays. So I'm super excited to see it. Now, if you have not seen Toy Story Land yet, make sure to check out my video. I have two different videos. One is just of Toy Story Land, the overall uh, what it's like experience, and I have one that's how to best maximize your fast passes here at the Hollywood Studios now that there is a Toy Story Land. And Toy Story Land, all three of the rides are tier one fast pass. You can only pick one of the rides here. We got the Alien Swirling Saucers tonight. Uh, it's got special holiday music now. So I thought that would be fun to check out. And then uh, you can get two other fast passes throughout the park. So check out those videos if you have not yet seen Toy Story Land. But this is Toy Story Land, now decorated for the holidays. Being here in the backyard with all you new toys, this is definitely my finest hour. Welcome! Check it out, Woody has a holiday scarf on. Super cool. And up here is Buzz Lightyear. He's doing a meet and greet, and he has a Santa hat on. Let's get a little closer to Buzz. Here he is. Yeah, come on. And up there is Rex with reindeer antlers. <laughs> Man, something's going on over here. What is going on here? Don't <laughs> worry. Looks like they're getting ready to tape or something. So, pretty neat. Here comes the Slinky Dog roller coaster. Get ready. Can you hear him making the sound of jingle bells? That's pretty neat. All right, let's keep going. Woody and Jesse are over here meet, meeting and greeting as well, and they have on holiday vests. I'm a little, little up close and personal so you can see them. There they are in their holiday best. Vests. <laughs> cute, cute, cute. Just over here for me, guys. I'm making a video. I'm not thinking of doing that. Yeah. There's the giant ball. It's not decorated for the holidays, but that's okay. It's a decoration in and of itself. All right. Let's head over here to Alien Swirling Saucers. Check out the alien Christmas baubles. Those are cute. So neat. All right, this is where we're headed. Hey, make sure we stay seated the whole time. Okay, we're in the alien ride. Hopefully we're gonna get in a Christmas song because the last two songs have just been the normal ones. But I know they have two Christmas songs on the track. 
so they must play them at random. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we're getting a Christmas song. like that ride a lot and that was cute I'm so glad we got the uh, Christmas music because like I said when I was waiting in line I heard two different songs that were the normal Toy Story songs I was like uh oh they said they were gonna play Christmas music so I'm glad we got a Christmas song but just a heads up you may not get a Christmas song when you're riding because they do mix it around all right we're gonna bypass slinky dog unfortunately it's a long line it's clear out to here 75 minute wait if we do that we will miss Jingle Bell Jingle Bam. So instead, I'm still gonna try to hunt for a dessert before we go to the fireworks show. Okay, okay guys, so I came back to Catalina Eddie's. It's under here, uh, under the pavilion where the Sunset Ranch Market is, off of the uh, Sunset Boulevard, okay? And I got the eggnog panna cotta. So I'm, I'm showing you a tip and trick right now. When I came earlier, this line was packed and now there is no one here. It's about a half an hour till park closing, so I made a good choice going over to Toy Story Land and then uh, coming back here. So we're gonna have dessert before we go watch the fireworks. So let's try, this is eggnog panna cotta. It's eggnog flavor. It's got raspberry in here and maybe caramel. Let's try it out. That's actually quite light and refreshing. That's actually quite refreshing. The eggnog's all the way at the bottom. I like eggnog, so you gotta like eggnog, I think, but it's like a nice eggnog custard, and like a vanilla custard on top of that. Um, and the raspberry pieces that are on top, they're chewy, they're not crunchy. They look crunchy, but they're chewy. And they have a nice flavor, so it all goes well. The raspberry, vanilla, and the eggnog all at the bottom. Goes really well. It's a light and refreshing dessert. So I would get this again, but I definitely have to try that chocolate hazelnut pine cone back at the Backlot Express. So when you come to Hollywood Studios, if you come this holiday season, get some of those specialty desserts because they're super delicious. All right, I'm gonna try that pine cone, like I said. I might try those um, Santa Claus macaroons. I'm thinking about them. Maybe that festive holiday popcorn. Oh, a lot of good stuff. I'll be back. All right, in a little bit, we're gonna head to the fireworks. This is Hollywood Studios invites you to join us for our Holly Jolly Holiday Spectacular. Get ready for a rockin' good time and enjoy Jingle Bell Jingle Bell! holiday transmission from the big guy himself, Santa Claus. And to make sure the site is holly jolly, I'm sending in our top prep and landing team, Lenny and Wayne. It's clear in three, two, one. Uh, Wayne? Santa's not in his office. Ah, great Garland. McGee, I just tried his cell phone. No answer, typical.
our video here tonight at the Hollywood Studios. Come here and check out the Flurry of Fun. It is so much fun. So many great decorations, awesome desserts. I gotta come back and try that chocolate hazelnut pine cone. Maybe get the um, alien popcorn bucket. So much to do here. All right, so if you like the video, hit like and subscribe down below to see more. And check us out because we're gonna be having several more holiday streams throughout the season. We're probably gonna be having two a week with all the content that's gonna be coming from these theme parks for the holidays. So keep watching.